Oh my god. Surreal. It looks like grandma's, but different. Hey, where'd all my things go? My pockets are empty. Of course they are. You in Silent Hill now, son! Gears Look. are moving behind the window. Am I inside some huge, bizarre machine? No, but seriously, this is Silent Hill. The paintings resemble TV static. Guess the reception down here isn't too good. Book. It's called Book. Oh my god. Eileen was here. Grandpa's name, my name, and Eileen's name are listed here. Well, but we're the only three people so who have- Grandpa and Eileen have both signed already. Should we sign? Looks like Grandpa- Of course Eileen signed in. So formal. But what about Jimmy and uh, Lily? They never came here? No dial tone. Of course. Was I was I expecting? A small desk lamp. I can see something inside. Oh, I'm sure it's something creepy, isn't it? There was a pen hidden inside. Well, time to sign in, I guess. Right? It's an old fashioned pen. Plenty of ink inside. Good. It's fairly sharp. Might have some other uses apart from writing. Thank you. What the? What? You're not supposed to be here. Who are you? You look just like me. I should ask you the same thing, imposter. Do you like what we did to mom? Don't you just want to kill her sometimes? I know I do. What? What is going on? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> you don't know anything, do you? Now, I'd love to stay in chat, doppelganger, but I have more important things to do. Ta-ta. See ya! Okay, guys. Before we move on, uh, I've actually got to... I, I, I hate to stop here, but I gotta get the... I gotta get this last video up for you guys to watch, so I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back, and we're going to explore a little bit more of this room before we move on. There are two padlocks here. One requires a key, the other is a combination lock. Cool. Code is near. That sounds like a hint. Code is near. I don't think they mean that in the literal sense. The door is sealed by two thick chains attached with padlocks. Hmm. Anything else to interact with here? Looks like there's a rock slide here, so can't go over there. The paintings resemble TV static. Guess right. the reception down here isn't too good. Let's go in the elevator. First look at it. The elevator is open. Mm, mm-hmm. Should probably get on it, probably. Which floor are we on? One? Three? Are we on three? Oh. I guess we were on one. Hey, this is the cabin. A small casket is placed in the middle of the cage. I like how she's so matter-of-fact about everything. More gears grinding away. Something about them makes me uneasy. Uh-huh. Nothing in this place appears to be tuned. Yep. That's one way to put it. There's a crank. Looks like the crank is connected to a mechanism for raising the cage. Let's raise the cage, huh? That's a very small coffin. No use. The chain is broken. I'll need to fix it first. Chain is broken? The chain looks broken there. Oh, so it's not attached to the crank. Got it. Alright. Hmm. Maybe we'll go to the second floor, because I think I started on the first floor. This is the Black Hats. 
Huh. That thing looks alive. Yeah. More gears. Yep. I don't even want to think about what happened there. Looks like a murder happened. Let's see, can we look at any of the chalk outlines? Can we can we go anywhere else? Oh. What was that? That's not cool. Where do we just go? Oh my god. Mom? You're here? It's Mom. She's being held up against the wall by something sticky. What I have to get her hell? loose somehow. Uh, okay. There's some blood on this wall. It's too tough. I might need something sharp to get it open. Okay. Does a pen suffice, or do you mean sharper than that? There was a scalpel hidden inside the wall. Got it. That's nice. Kind of cruel that it was this close. A razor sharp surgical scalpel. Let's think about it. Either a useful tool or a deadly weapon. Good to know. We might do some killing later. Not on mom, but on the... I guess that's what they mean, right? Yeah, cut her loose. So her mom went crazy, right? There you go, mom. Are you okay? Supposedly. No! What the? I know what else to do. Was there a choice there? I had no choice. I had to put you away. Okay, so this isn't you real. You started hurting yourself. You started hurting me. I forgive you. Because, like... <laughs> oh, God. Get me out of this place. I started thinking that maybe... Because cause, uh, the Crimson one was talking about how, like, you know, you need, like, there was all this stuff about how you need to, like, face yourself. There's the distorted mirror that Cocky was talking about, right? And then, obviously, the Crimson one had his doppelganger. She has her doppelganger. It's like you need to face yourself. It's like a persona type of thing, maybe. But, so I thought that maybe, like, people went crazy because they, like, they go in, they get split in two, as Cocky was talking about. And then, like, only one of them leaves, so they only have half of themselves. So they seem like they've gone nuts. I mean, that's what happened to her mom, and this was, like, the sane one. But now, it appears that that's not the case. I don't even want to look. It's probably not even real. I don't know! Let's look at the fridge, I guess. Hopes in jar. An inkier heart. Rule me nemesis. So... We heard these on the TV earlier in the jail, and someone pointed out in the comments that if you rearrange this, it spells out Joseph Rain. If you rearrange this, it spells out Catherine Rain. And if you rearrange this, it spells Eileen Summers. Refrigerator <sighs> magnets in the shape of Scrabble tiles. The score values are off, though. I remember because the game I played with E the other day. Oh. Oops in jar, an inkier heart, rule me nemesis. Near. Not sure what to make of it all. Near. The code is near. Three, two, one, five. Three, two, one, five is the code for the padlock. I think. Open refrigerator? There's a weird scarab thing in there. Ooh, let's take it. Got it. What is this thing? It's heart scarab. It's the red scarab I found in the refrigerator. When I shake it, I can hear something moving inside. All right, we gotta crack it open. It has a hard shell. I'll need something heavy to break it. Okay. Well, I'll keep that in mind if I find anything heavy. What's this? Looks like a postcard is lying here on the floor. Sorry, I cut her off. I didn't mean to. Hi, baby girl, living the life over here in Mexico. I have a new family now and I've forgotten all about you. I don't regret leaving you for a second since your mom was a whore and I never loved you anyway. All the best, dad. Catherine Rain, the sinkhole, Conwell Woods. You killed mom. That 
wasn't mom. It was some kind of monster. We're all monsters to you, aren't we? Kill her, dad. No, it can't be. Who's your daddy now, bitch? What? Stay away from me. Whoa. What the fuck? Do we get him to like fall down the... Holy shit. I think we get him to, to fall down maybe. What are you talking about? Go away! Go, Kathy, go. Maybe we both need to be on it. Ha! Ah! I have been angry with you for as long as I can remember. I have hated you more than words can say. I will never forgive you, Dad, but I'm done being angry. I'm done with letting you have an impact on my life. Hello, daughter. I should have done this a long time ago. There are so many things I wish I could say to you. You have two brothers and a sister here. They always ask about you. They're big sister in the USA. Leaving you is the biggest mistake I ever made. Please forgive me, Dad. Huh. I didn't hear an impact. Does it even have a bottom? I don't really think I want to find out. Uh... Can we leave? I don't even want to think about. I can't move. Oh no, is this a bug? I think because I'm standing on the hole, technically. Oh no, I'm gonna have to load a save. Oh, that's too bad. All right, good, we're back. Hey guys, <laughs> sorry about that. Uh. This has been a very bug-free game so far, but yeah, that was, um... The body's gone. Where did that thing go? Yeah, your doppelganger's gone the as well. The body is gone. I wonder if there's anything I'm supposed to do with it. Maybe, like... That combination makes... I just was thinking if you have to write something in blood, you know, maybe having it on the pen would be good. I think we're done here. Uh, I think that was all to get the scarab, which we need to break with something heavy. But first, we can we can open up the padlock. I think three, two, one, five. I believe is the code. We'll see. If it's not, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be super mad. The door is. There are two padlocks here. Oh, well, we can't get in yet. Then let's see. Good. This padlock might be useful. Oh. All right, so the other one requires a key. So all that's left now is to go to floor three. Okay, I think we can use the padlock to reconnect the chain here. A sturdy iron padlock. Let's think about it. It should be pretty hard to break. Uh. Yeah, let's see if it works. I'm not really sure how else we would do this otherwise. That yeah, work. good. Okay, do the crank. Okay, is this a trap? A small casket is placed in the middle of the cage. It doesn't open, but I can see a keyhole. There's a key for it, huh? Indentations from spikes on the cage. Uh, there we go. Okay. Can we make it go back down? Was it a key? Was it a key to the, the casket? Or was it a key to the padlock? Small key. It's the small key that I found inside the scarab. There's a keychain attached with a red heart followed by Ma. Or M-A. Guess somebody loves their mom. No, I think it's... Maybe it's M-A? No? Do you see? Oh, I God. I want to see. 
do you see? Yes, kid, I see. Do you know who I am now? I don't like this. I want to go home. You'll never go home. We won't let you. When you threw me away, this place took me in, nurtured me. Do you regret what you did? That's probably closest to the truth. I just couldn't repeat the mistake my parents made. I couldn't bear to put a child through life in a broken, damaged family like I was. You're just here to test me, to try and break me. What? Good. The heart must be pure. This is a fleeting moment, but I've seen what comes ahead. Who are you? The Lily? in the lake. The conduit. Lily? It's the drowned girl. I feel like I know her, but something cracks inside. I don't understand any of this. What do you want from me? Only what you want from yourself. Nothing more, nothing less. We are nearing the end. He is ready to see you now. Who is? You know who, Kathy. A small brass key. I think we know where this goes. Maybe this fits into one of the padlocks in the hall. Ah, man. I think I could have done without the forceps on the kid's face. Damn. <clears throat> Alright then, uh, here we go. Damn, it's locked. I don't see a keyhole. It must be bolted from the other side. What? Both chains have been removed from the door. I don't see how those things work together. Well, I'm not sure what else to do. Okay, now what to do with the actual chain? Uh, maybe pull it open? the elevator rip it up all right we should be good to go got it you you have ruined everything why do you hate us so much what did we ever do to you? Uh. This mirror mirror routine is getting tiring. And I'm not afraid anymore. I see you for what you are. You are nothing but a fearful little child and there's nowhere left for you to hide. Now get the hell out of my way. No. What? You look a bit pale. No, I'm the original. I am. This can't be happening. Well, see ya. Bye bye. I'm speechless. That's a first. No, it can't be. What? Grandpa. What? It's so good to see you, Kathy. Is it really you? You've been here for all this time? It hasn't been that long from my point of view. You look exactly the same. You haven't aged at all. But how is this even possible? You're, you're dead. We buried you. You don't have to worry about that now, Kathy. I 
I've missed you, Grandpa. I wanted to come back so many times. I know you did. I've been watching you every step of the way. I found out how you tried to get me back from Mom and everything. I just wanted you to be safe. I wanted what's best for you. Can I get you out of here somehow? I don't know how all this works. I'm afraid that's not possible. I chose to remain here, so we could meet one last time. But I just got you back. I can't bear to lose you again. You don't need me, Kathy. You never did. You're stronger than you'll ever know. I'm so proud of the woman that you've become. This... this is so unfair. This fucking sucks. I know, darling. I know. But why are you here then? Is it just another test? No, the tests are over, Kathy. I'm breaking all the rules just by being here. We have worked so hard to make this happen. You can end the cycle, stop the suffering. This whole place needs to be ripped away, separated. That red fiend has no intention of letting your friend go. The only way to save her is to destroy this place. What do I have to do? You have to finish what I started. Ascend and burn them all. Yes, the red ones above feed this place. Make them lick the flames. Hurry, now before he sees us. Oh. Wait! Don't go! I need to go back up. I need to get out of here. Let me look around first. The gears follow me wherever I go. Scenes are flashing by on the TV, depicting dogfighting in black and white. Dogfighting? That's random. A shot of a corpse keeps flashing by. <gasps> I saw it. Ugh. Okay, well, I guess we're really not meant to stick around here, are we? Let's go. <gasps> well, hi there. It's the red man. He knows what I'm up to. Apparently. See if he can stop us. The only way out of here. Hmm. I still wonder who the red man is because... Cocky said I reunited him with his family. Ugh, my head. It's like the worst hangover ever. I need to stay focused. Burn them all, Kathy. Burn them all. I think we know how we do that. It's too humid. The lighter alone won't be able to ignite them. Okay. Let's see. Paint thinner. That should be enough. Oh, you're not going to show me them all ablaze? That's too bad. Major forest fire raging in Conwell Woods. The cause of the blaze has yet to be determined. But the latest reports say that the fire has been successfully contained. Largely thanks to the local lake, which provided ample water for the dowsing efforts. Over to you, Mark. Oh, thank goodness you're all right. You're back. We were worried about There's you. There's the fire raging oh, in the background. God, it actually worked. Are you okay, E? I think so, but I feel a bit different. Yeah? You were out for a long time. Do you remember anything? I think Isaac drugged me. I started feeling dizzy and weak. He carried me into the woods. I remember hearing the wind in the leaves and the biting cold. There was a weird, sharp smell in the air, too. I'm not sure what happened next. Things are a bit blurry, but I had a strange dream with a shimmering girl watching over me. It felt like she kept me safe somehow. Then I woke up on this couch. It must have been your guardian angel. I think so too. Well, I'm glad you're okay, E. Things looked scary there for a bit. Yeah, Mary Elizabeth told me what happened, how you found me and got Isaac arrested. 
Yes, about that poor man. The sheriff called. Something happened while you were away. Yep. Yep. Welcome home, son. Guess he finally grew a conscience. I can't help but feel bad for him, despite what he did to me. In a way, he was a victim too. At least we stopped him from hurting any more people. So, I guess this really is goodbye. A stupid part of me thought that if I would find the truth, I could be close to him again. It's not stupid. We all look for love in the strangest of places. It's an inseparable part of human nature. Jeez, when did you become so philosophical, E? I told you, I feel different. Yeah, me too. Do you think any of it was real? I don't know, E, but I hope we managed to stop it once and for all. You know, despite everything, I think we made a half-decent team. Really? You do? Well, except for the part where you got yourself kidnapped. Try not to do that next time, okay? Wait, there'll be a next time? Huh. Setting up for a sequel, I see. That's it. Hmm. So, I really liked this game overall. I would say... The first four chapters were great. Uh, the last chapter kinda was all over the place? Here are the voice actors, uh, actors and actresses, for anyone who's curious. I'm told that they uh, worked on some other, like, Wadjet Eye games, like the Blackwell series, etc. Um, hmm. Yeah, I, I think, uh, I think it kind of got a little bit too into the supernatural paranormal towards the end, which there was always hints at that, you know, from the very beginning, but I think that, um, I mean, I, of course, I came in with the expectation that this was just going to be kind of like a, a mystery, right? And, um, you know, it, it, it made sense towards the end, like, I feel like, I feel satisfied but I don't feel like riveted by the ending, you know? Um, uh, that said, I, I really liked the game overall. It's just, I think I think towards the end it kind of faltered a little bit. Not really sure exactly how to express what exactly I had a problem with, but oh, the game is also available in German and French for anyone who's interested. Um, I wonder if that includes voice acting. But uh, yeah. Overall, I, I really liked it, and um, I think I think if the fifth chapter had kind of, I guess, impressed me as much as the previous four, it would have been like like a ten out of ten experience overall. Because I really liked everything kind of leading up to that. I mean, I kind of get it, but it just seems like uh, I don't know. It's kind of like uh, the TV show Lost, where like kind of guessing at what's going on is, is more fun than actually finding out what's what's gonna what would actually happen so to speak um I really like lost by the way so I'm not that's not like a diss or anything to doing red man you mad you lost you mad bro Anyway, uh, yeah, those are my thoughts on Kathy Rain. Um, 
I know, I, I, I have a feeling that I'm going to be a bit more merciful on it than you guys. For some reason, I just have this feeling. Um, it's, it's... Th this, this is a tough game to end, though. Um, creating a satisfactory ending to something is, is really tough. So, I, you know, I definitely understand the struggle there. But, and like I said, I enjoyed the game overall. Really liked it. I, I think I should, I think I should probably try to play more adventure games on this channel. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed the series overall, and uh, if you'd like to support the creators, um, that whole link is in the description, so. Uh, I, I definitely think that games like this should, should be supported, because, uh, I mean, I think there's far too few of them out there these days. So yeah, uh, maybe we'll see a sequel to this, who knows? Seems like they were heavily hinting at that towards the end. Along with the subtitle of this game being A Detective is Born, seems like, uh, there's definitely plans for for more coming up, which I'm excited about. I would definitely play Kathy Rain 2, whatever that turns out to be. I'll see you guys later. Think critically.